This is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Really excited today. I'm here traveling and I'm in a hotel room and we're going to show you what you could make when you're traveling. It's really simple with only three ingredients. And even if you're not traveling, actually I do make this when I'm home sometimes just for fun. So it's a real simple recipe if you could find the ingredients and it's really easy to find the ingredients. So what, what I'm going to make today is basically a salad and uh, I just happen to get the... Uh, organic baby spinach you could also use a spring mix or you know any cut up vegetable since I am traveling I like that this comes in like basically a nice little uh, bowl <laughs> you know plastic bowl rip off the top and it's an instant bowl that's about 11 ounces that's just for uh, you know one personal size meal for me uh, the next ingredient I have is basically just uh, two ripe avocados sometimes they can be a bit uh, difficult to find uh, but you know I had to go through the whole stack found two of them so that's good so the last ingredient that I'm going to use today is actually uh, the secret ingredient. This is kimchi. This is a vegan kimchi, and it's um, raw because it's not pasteurized. So it's very uh, kind of rare sometimes to find a good unpasteurized kimchi. Anything that you get in a in a bottle on the store shelf that's not refrigerated is probably pasteurized. This one's fresh. I've been getting it for years. I went in in the uh, northeastern U.S. It's called a Sun Jaws Radish Kimchi. Now you do have to, and it says on here, a living food, unpasteurized, loaded with live enzymes, a living food. Other thing and very important, besides kimchi, you could use uh, things like sauerkraut and other fermented vegetables, which is really fun. When I'm in Canada, they have these uh, pickled fiddleheads that are really good in the same exact recipe. Um, but otherwise, when you do buy kimchi, uh, you want to watch out. Not all kimchis are vegan. Some kimchis, you know, contain fish, and that's actually the tr traditional way to make it. Um, there's really a good kimchi if you live it down the Los Angeles area. When I go down there, the Hollywood Farmer's Market, you want to visit uh, Korean Dave, and he has some awesome kimchi down there. Uh, the other thing that sometimes kimchi has uh, is uh, sugars. So this one, basically, the ingredients are all natural cabbage, ra radishes, carrots, red peppers, leeks, green onions, garlic, ginger, and sea salt. Also says low sodium, which is also very important to me. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to just uh, remove this to uh, my salad <laughs> greens up. That's it. There's my bowl. Next step is we just take an avocado and we're going to cut it in half. And actually all these, by the way, were purchased at a local Whole Foods market. All right, so the next step is we're just going to score the avocado. Simply just uh, like to cut the avocado one direction with a knife. Then cut it the other direction. Then basically we're going to, this makes uh, avocado cubes. So once I cut it all, then we just take the spoon and spoon out the different sections on top of the spinach. One avocado left. We're just going to go ahead and simply uh, cut this in half. Open it up and score it once again. Real easy, real simple. So this is the last uh, half of the avocado. We're just, once again, simply going to score it and then scoop it all on top of the salad. And the main ingredient for me on this is, is definitely the avocado. It really makes the whole salad work. You, I mean, you could just do it with the kimchi, but I really like to have some kind of fat component. And I mean, I suppose you could do it with nuts, but... The recipe is with the avocados, so <laughs> if I don't have avocados, I generally won't do this exact recipe. I'll do something else. And for the most part, avocados are available like at most even regular grocery stores. All right, so here's the last step. The last step's the easiest part. Take the kimchi, open it, and you always want to hear it make that pop sound. Oh, man, and I love uh, radishes. So here's radishes in here. We're just going to basically take the kimchi in. Man, has a nice aroma. And actually, you know what? They said kimchi is effective at bird flu when the whole bird flu outbreak came. And I think fermented foods are really uh, delicious to eat. I do include them in my diet, you know, a few times a month, not too often. 
but I think it's good to have sometimes. Fermented foods contain uh, beneficial probiotics, which are very good for us. So we're going to basically uh, spread about half of the jar out. That's about half of the jar. And now, once we have this, we're just going to simply mix it all together. We're just finishing uh, mixing this up here. And when you're done mixing it up, basically the uh, kimchi is going to make kind of like a dressing uh, for the salad along with the avocados and it's quite delicious and that's how easy it is to make a meal out of basically three ingredients from Whole Foods or from a health food store uh, when you're traveling or actually when you're at home this is one of my favorite recipes to make hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode so once again this is John Kohler with okraw.com keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables they're good stuff